from the subreddit Unpopular Opinion. You should be able to refuse to offer your seat to the elderly and pregnant. This is a mix rant and unpopular opinion. There are situations where you're genuinely the one that needs the seat the most and especially if you're young, you will always be the one asked to offer. At the very least you should be allowed to say, ask someone else, without being criticized or judged. I woke up at 3 a.m., started work at 5, worked 8 hours on my feet. I got to take a 45-minute train journey that's almost the entire length of the line. Please don't make me get up just because I'm young. I guarantee you that 50-year-old man reading a book can stand and is way less tired than I am. I don't want to feel like the bad guy saying no to someone when I am genuinely exhausted. Feel free to refuse if you're not sitting in the priority disabled seats. Tell them to ask someone sitting there to give up their seat. If you're sitting in that seat though, tough luck. Once I was shouted to move by a pregnant, four-fifths months, lady who was in her forties. I was in my twenties and actually pregnant. I was about seven weeks and had hyperemesis gravidirum, I was throwing up twenty to thirty times a day and fainting regularly. Literally too weak and exhausted to even properly defend myself but I told her I was also pregnant and really feeling unwell. She was still standing in front of me complaining loudly about the young people today having no respect. I threw up on her. Not intentionally but she was mad. This is why there are reserved seats in the trains in my country so that people in the regular seats can sit in peace and clear conscience. I have encountered silver-haired folks forcefully pushing their way in so hard, I am sure they have more than enough physical capacity to stand for a few stops. Closing your eyes and nodding off would definitely help demonstrate to anyone ready to criticize you that you are very tired and need the seat more than the older person. The thought that people are looking at me, a 50-year-old man, and thinking I need them to offer me their seat feels ridiculous. Are you mixing up 75 with 50? Just say you're extremely tired and exhaustive and if they don't mind can you ask someone else. If you genuinely need it then that's fair. If you want to put on a show you can sit on the ground. Pro tip, you're allowed to answer however the hell you want. Just say no, nothing is going to happen. Nothing is stopping you from saying no but yourself. Let them judge, half of them didn't take the initiative to offer their own seat and some of them wouldn't budge anyway. I have a chronic injury in both my legs where the muscles in my shins are being compressed to extremely painful degrees by being housed in two small membranes. But because I'm young and it's not a visible injury, it gets ignored. I've had my own experiences with this and it's enough to make me really fucking angry. I guarantee you that 50-year-old man reading a book can stand and is way less tired than I am. How can you guarantee this? I never get people like this. You are allowed to say no. What you aren't allowed to do is shield yourself entirely from public opinion when you do so. You have the right to say no, just like other people have the right to think you're an asshole for it if they want. If you're gonna be one, at least own it. Maybe I don't take public transit enough, but I've never seen anyone being asked to give up their seat. There's always someone nice offering their seat up as soon as an elderly or pregnant person walks through the door. How can you guarantee it? How do you know that 50 years old man didn't work a longer shift or have some other ailment that's more painful than whatever soreness you're experiencing? I guarantee you that a 50 year old man reading a book can stand and is way less tired than I am. So you can read his mind? Maybe you are, but you can't act all entitled and think you know this. He's an old man, and could have had as long of a day as you, even longer. Am I the only one who has never been in this situation? If I was I would probably offer my seat though, not because I feel like I have to or because I'm worried they will be mad if I don't. I just feel as I would want to. You worked eight hours? Woe better give OP his own bed. When I was stationed in Korea, I got on a bus. I sat down, but it was already fairly full, with one other empty seat directly in front of me. An elderly couple got on. The man sat in the seat and the woman stood. 
I stood up and offered my seat to the woman, she refused, and scowled at me as though I had done something wrong. If you're tired as a young person after work you are not going to be less tired when you're 50. Heads up. A 50-year-old is not asking people to give up their seats. That's not elderly. It's about balance and breakability. If a pregnant lady falls she could hurt her baby. If an old person falls, they can break something. You get an upvote for being unpopular, but this is a really short-sighted and shitty take. I have an invisible disability, multiple actually. When I was pregnant, I figured it would be bad, but instead I almost died. Oops. Yeah, I needed to sit. If no one got up, I figured they were in the same boat as me, invisible disabilities suck, and I just stood. Once or twice I got off the bus or train and called an Uber if the trip was too long to stand the whole time. Everyone is allowed to say no, and I never even asked, unless it was to like move a purse that was on a seat or something. You are able to refuse your seat to the elderly or pregnant. The question is, why would you? At 45 years old, I worked an eight-hour day as well, then went to college at night afterwards, then came home to take care of my elderly mother who now lived with me. That was 15 years ago, and it would be a cold day in hell before I let an elderly person or a pregnant woman stand on the subway, not as long as my legs can still support me. But that's just me. Did they outlaw saying no to people in your area? If you don't want to feel bad, stop feeling bad about it. Why is this a problem for you? You are able to refuse and they are able to judge you. Nothing happens. You can't control how others feel just because you feel uncomfortable. I guarantee you that 50-year-old man reading a book can stand and is way less tired than I am. This is officially the dumbest thing I've ever read. You can refuse but some people are assholes, just like with anything else. The only people I have seen get mad are entitled as fuck. It angers me because it's not just your opinion but also add that there are a lot of disabled people who are not visibly disabled. Some who literally can't stand for long periods or some who risk falling or having a seizure ECT. If you're able and feel like it it's always nice to give up your seat to someone in need. But it never should be expected or forced. As a 25-year-old with MS, my legs give out all the time if I'm just standing. I don't want to fall. I'm keeping my seat. This is why every bus here has at least five preferential seats, sometimes seven. So that those who need can sit there and don't have to ask anyone else. We all usually avoid the preferential seats by default to avoid any hassle. That being said, many commenters here are showing some real ignorance and lack of empathy. It's easier if you just pretend you're asleep. Sometimes it isn't about being tired, it is about safety. If you as a tired worker collapse on the floor from exhaustion, chances are you'll walk away relatively unscathed. If an elderly person falls, they could die from their injuries. That being said, you can definitely say you need the seat if you feel like there are others around you who definitely could give up their seats. You are allowed to refuse. But you're the only one with the power to make you feel bad about it or not. If you choose to feel bad for saying no, you may want to evaluate which is more important to you. Saying no, or feeling guilty. Just say, I'm sorry, I've been on my feet all day and I'm exhausted. People act like communication is an alien concept. How can you guarantee a 50-year-old man reading his book is less tired than you? And where can I get myself a tiredness thermometer? I mean if you really want the seat go for it, but elderly people and pregnant women take priority to most people for a reason, the stakes are higher for them if they get exhausted or lose their balance and fall. If you're young and this tired I suggest checking your iron levels. This really isn't a very full on day. What if the 50-year-old man woke up at 3, started at 5, worked 8 hours, and took a long train? Ha ha not saying you're obligated, but your guarantee is invalid. You can. But as with free speech, you are not free from the consequences. Most people work 8 hours a day and commute for 45 minutes at least. Get over it. 
That's why I often take a seat that's not close to an entrance.